Okay, hello dear friends. So this video we work on the law of sine and cosine. So let me write it down. Law of sine, cosine. And when we use law of sine, when we use law of cosine, and, uh, and there is not a fixed rule. There are fixed rules, but it's, uh, it might be difficult to recite as a, as, 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 this kind of uh, 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 boring definitions. When you understand the logic in the problem, it is much easier to solve. So I will give you an example. And question number three looks like a good example. And we will go ahead with this one. Question number three, we know A equal two, B equal three, C equal to four. And then we solve this triangle. So before everything, one of the very important thing is to draw the triangle. We have A, let's say this is A equal to 2, and then the B equal to 3, something like it here. B equal to 3. Okay. B equal to 3, and C equal to 4. Uh, about it, I'm not drawing it as proportion. I should draw it with, um, with a compass. Maybe next time we do it. So the line C opposite to line C is point C. Opposite to line B, to the side B, is the point B, is angle B. Opposite to side A is the angle A. Okay, before everything, we need to write down what is the law of sines. Law, that is the law of sine. Law of sine, each teacher write it differently, is A over sine A equal to B over sine B equal to C over sine, sine C, uh -oh, that is not good, sine C. Okay, maybe this will help you remember even better with this little, <laughs> okay, with this little uh, um, <coughs> gibberish here. So <coughs> the angle, the lens over, the, the side over its uh, sign of the opposite angle is all proportional. This is a law of sine. Okay, law of cosine. Law, law of cosine is a square equal b square plus c square plus minus 2bc cosine a b square equal to a square plus c square minus 2ac cosine b c square equal a square plus b square minus 2ab cosine c. I like these kind of functions. It's a so symmet uh, mathematically um, beautiful and elegant. It's all proportional and it's all um, symmetric. When here is a, there is bc, and here's a b at the end is b and the rest is a and c c the end is c it's uh, it's beautiful i i think you understand what i'm talking about right so we put this question in our function so if we use 
the sine law. A over sine A, B over sine B. We know A, we know B, but there are two variables. We do not know angle A, we do not know angle B. So we cannot solve this problem with the law of sines. How about law of sine? How about law of cosine? We know A, we know B, we know C, and only one variable with all the conditions, so it's very ready. So law of cosine is a good thing to, 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 to use. So a square equal b square plus c square minus 2bc cosine a. a equal to 2 square plus b is 3, 3 square plus 4 square minus 2 times 3 times 4 times cosine a. So 4 equal 9 plus 16 minus 24 cosine a right and move this 24 here and move this 4 here so 24 cosine a equal to 25 minus 4 21 cosine a equal to 7 over 8 now you use your graph calculator to figure out the angle Okay, I use decimal to do my problem. Let me see. E -e 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 -e. Decimal. Decimal come out. Decimal. Okay, so <coughs> cosine inverse of 7 over 8 equal to Cosine, I use my function. Do you want to see it? Maybe that's a good idea, right? Okay, let me see if you can see it. I have a line here. Okay, cosine function, cosine. Inverse of 7 over 8. So we get the result. This one is in radian. And I am very comfortable with degree. So I time 180 divided by 180 divided by uh, pi. So that's the degree. 28.9550. So, okay, come back in. So, what I get is 28.955 degree. Okay, we figure out A, and the same thing we will figure out B square equal to A square plus c squared minus 2ac cosine b. Take your time, write it down slowly, do the problem. 2 squared plus c is 4 squared minus 2 times 2 times 4 cosine b. So 9 equal to 4 plus uh, 16 minus r, 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 s, 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 16 cosine b 16 cosine oh, oh i need to decrease the size whenever my hand is on the paper the my 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 hand equalizes the balance of the paper the the color so the paper becomes whiter that's good Cosine, uh, my magic hand, 20, uh, 20 minus 9 is 11, so cosine b, 
uh, cosine b equal to 11 over 16 are we right 20 minus 1 yeah cosine inverse of 11 over 16 is you i will not move the camera okay cosine inverse of 11 over 16 now i need to change into um, degree from radian to degree time 180 divided by pi uh -uh. time 180 and divided by pi is 46.567 degree da, 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 da. okay now we can use the same thing to figure out cosine uh, uh, c the sine c uh -oh, running out of paper C square equal to A square plus B square minus 2AB cosine C. So C is 4 square equal to 2 square plus 3 square minus 2 times 2 times 3 cosine C 16 equal to 4 plus 9 minus are those sense 12 cosine C 12 cosine C equal to 16 and this 13 Ooh, this becomes negative, negative, negative 3. So, is that negative 3? 13, yes. So, cosine C equal to negative 1 over 4. Now we figure out the cosine inverse of... Um, negative one negative quarter one over four this is not beautifully written you know what i'm talking about you got the idea you got the idea okay the next one is uh -oh, is cosine inverse of negative one over four so it's uh, times 180 degree divided by pi equal to mm -mm, equal to uh, times 180. So it's one. Hundred four point four seven seven point four seven eight. Okay, so because it's negative, so it, it must be an obtuse angle. So totally makes sense. And this shows my drawing is not right. So the drawing should be A, B, See, something like this. This is an obtuse. Two, three, four. That makes sense, right? Okay, now what we are going to do, we prove. Not really prove. We calculate if we add up this three angle. Uh oh. Do they equal to 180 degree? I forgot to write degree sign. Degree sign degree sign okay this 28 let's say 29 plus uh, 46 29 
is one hundred. Uh, it's uh, um seventy seventy five, about seventy five degree plus. Oh, oh, you can see it. About one hundred. Uh, about seventy five degree plus one oh four point four seven. Okay, I will write it down. So. 28.995 plus 46.567 plus 1.4.478 and these are degrees add up together makes 180 degrees so <clears throat> this is when we use the law of cosine okay and uh, the next question i will show you when to use the law of sine i'm not sure i will need to see the problem let's have a preview of our problem problem come out come out problem the next problem, how about we do... Uh oh, this must be law of cosine also, because you know... We know B, C, so come to C, our law of cosine function. Where? Yes, come see our formula. Okay, so this, the second, uh, the n question number four, we have, okay, I make it, my hand, make it looks a little bit better. So we have B and C and angle A. So you can see, you can put into this uh, uh, law of cosine formula. B, we know, C, we know, B, C, this we know, it becomes known, known, known. It's given, given, and we can calculate all this part. And the cosine A, which is given, uh, A is given, then cosine A we can use calculator. It's just a number, need time to calculate, but uh, it's not an unknown. And A is unknown, so we can solve A. From A, we start to use um, if we figure out A, we can figure out B, we can figure out C, and uh, and uh, and uh, and force and 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 so on. Thank you very very much. I love you. I really do 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 do. Law of sine, law of cosine. Let me balance the color. Ah, yeah, a little bit better. Bye-bye, friends.